Due to coronavirus concerns, we may not see the end of an NHL regular season, and hopefully we'll still get the playoffs at least. And if we do get to the playoffs, will we have to restructure the format, or will we keep it the same and just leave the league as is? I have Jack with me today to discuss this topic. Um, there's been a lot of theories going around, but Jack, what is your theory on how the NHL should handle the playoffs? Uh, it's not really my theory. This is just an idea. Um, my opinion, there has to be a Stanley Cup. Um, I, I I think Stanley Cup playoffs is just so much better than any other kind of sports playoffs. Um, just personal opinion. Yeah, I was going to say. Personal opinion. <laughs> uh, big hockey fan. But I, I, it's a, such a different game. Um, playoff hockey, just such, a, such an exceptional play. And I think it has to happen. Um, and I haven't had a little idea for how it could happen. That would keep most parties happy so i was thinking of a 24 team system top four so we're really gonna lose the whole division system all together just ranked one through 24 based on points well no it's one it's one through 12 in each conference okay so the f top four get a bye to the stanley cup playoffs and then it's the five through eight play nine through 12 mm -hmm. and I, I guess that yeah. There's one more in the conference than the other one, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. So I guess uh, there'll be 24 teams. It'll be like a, kind of like a wild card match to see who gets to actually play in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, so it would continue on as normal, having the 16 teams in the playoffs after that first kind of wild card round. It could would, be like would, a best of three, best of five. Okay. I was going to say, would the wild card be a best of seven? I think maybe best of three would kind of suit the yeah. wild card format i think uh, in terms of travel maybe the first game is to the lower seed and the next two games are to the higher seed you think that would work yeah so yeah five plays 12 mm -hmm. six plays 11 and so on and then the winners of that do they how does it work in the in the the next round is it just based off seeding so the the one seed plays the lowest seed who yeah. comes out of the wild yes, card yes 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 okay and it would happen in each conference and then you'd have your eight teams in each conference it would go back to the like how it usually was back okay. before the division system yeah i think i like this idea i think that the nhl should seriously consider reseeding teams um just for conferences like it used to be i really really detest the current division format especially as a fan of a team in probably the hardest division um, the Atlantic Division. Well, don't or, forget the Pacific. Yeah, the Pacific. I mean, the Pacific is the, <laughs> is the best division we've ever seen in any sport at all. Um, you know, the, the best team in the Pacific would be a wild card in the other division. So, yeah. <laughs> just to show, show you how, how tremendous and balanced it is. Because there's so many good teams in the Pacific. That's why. It used that's, to be, though. It used to be a really good division. But... That's, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I'd rather they go back to the conferences. I think, well, I, I think we should look at a future where it's just one straight division like one straight league like the nhl we're you seeing see teams one through 16. we're seeing too many repetitive matchups i mean it, it's nice for rivalries but it's it's just it's getting not annoying. nice as a leafs fan when you got to play the boston bruins every goddamn year in the yeah. playoffs also i i think well when you play it uh, division wise if your division's harder you're kind of stuck like you know the the, the golden knights who are we we claimed as one of the favorites for the cup the only reason they're one of the favorites for the cup is that their division in that division the division's easy enough that they they're all of a sudden in the conference final where they win that all of a sudden they're in the final and you know it's clear that the the east is a little a little bit more more loaded uh, and when you got the capitals the lightning the bruins i mean the penguins are on an off year but you can't even it's an off year but there's still 86 points they'd be first in the pacific so uh, that, that's an off year yeah. quote unquote for the pittsburgh penguins so i think we should definitely look at this avenue i think that if you can't finish the regular season the only i i think it would be nice to kind of have extra games in the playoffs especially if you lose the regular season game from a revenue standpoint mm -hmm. uh, i don't think i don't see really how many teams would be upset about this format i mean yeah. Well, that, that's, that's the biggest reason for my ideas. I don't see many teams being upset about this. Uh, the biggest, I guess, party upset from this would be me, myself, as a better on the Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah. Because I strongly, you just, bet just for context, I bet $72 on the Vegas Golden Knights and the payout is over $1,000 to win the Stanley Cup. But that um, was large. The odds were largely based on you. Sorry, the 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 way you looked at it was largely based on. Well, they're in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. They're the favorites to get to the conference final, and then they're there, and they win that. Then all of a sudden, you know, I've got a potential to win the bet. Exactly. Agreed. 
uh, I think, you know, in hindsight, not a, not a terrible bet, like especially for the mm-hmm. payout. Um, but if it does happen this way, it would certainly not yes, favor. It would certainly himself. not, especially because they would be a low, a, a much lower seed as mm-hmm. well. Um, just kind of at a glance at the standings, they would probably would they have a buy? They'd have a buy in in, yeah. in 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 the West, but they'd be the three seed rather than a one seed in the Pacific. So. I- I see the teams most upset about this. The only really teams that should be upset about this are, I guess, the teams of the Pacific, which would lose their standing. Yeah, I can't. I can't really see how teams would be overly upset about this. I mean, if you're if you're the, let's say, let's take the Bruins for example, the one seed in the East, they get to avoid the Lightning in the second round, mm-hmm. and they just get to they get an easier matchup in the second round than the, than the Tampa Bay Lightning. So. The bottom teams get, you know, they still get their playoffs. Um, like, let's say teams on the outside looking in, like the Florida Panthers, mm-hmm. who are well within a shot of catching the Maple Leafs, they can still get a playoff spot and the ability to play because they're not in a wild card spot as it is. So they still have the ability to play for that, you know, yeah. that spot in like the actual playoffs. In the and wild card and so 24 of 31 teams would make the playoffs. And I, I can't see the other seven being upset just because, yeah, sure, you're not in the playoffs, but you never were going to be anyways. And now, think of the odds of winning the lottery now. There's only seven yeah, uh, teams competing for the lottery. Think so of Ottawa. I was going to ask. Ottawa's you, chances of winning that lottery would be insane. They have two, they have number two and three. So you think the lottery would be just the teams who didn't make the playoffs? Yeah, they the would. seven teams so, that didn't make the playoffs. Okay, that makes sense. I think, like, there's there's not a lot. Because they'd be, they'd, be, they'd be excited for that. Yeah, the, oh, for sure. If you're in the bottom seven... You weren't getting anything anyways. No, you're like, you, better well, Your it. chances were much lower. I think, what, there's 14 teams in the lottery system? Is it? I guess 15. 15? Yeah. So, yeah. If, in, if you're odd, I mean, obviously it's not 1 in 15. Obviously, it's, uh, mm. it varies based on your positioning. But, you know, out of seven teams now, you have a much higher chance of, of winning. Ottawa's got to start lottery. thinking if this happens, they could get both Lafreniere yeah. and Byfield. Yeah, the, the, yeah they've, got, they've got two picks, right? And that mm. one, who's, who's the other one they have? They have San Jose's. San Jose's. So they have two well. and three. They have two and three. Unfortunately, wow. LA, my team, went on a little bit of a run, so they're not going to get as great of a seating well, as they should have. They're going to be. But... They're going to be in the play. Are, are yeah, they'll get fourth. They would have fourth. They'd be a playoff team. No, Based... they, they'd be oh. fourth last. Oh, okay. But they do have the biggest win streak currently in the NHL. Yeah, they, in the they NHL. end. What do they end on a seven game, seven win, game win streak? Win streak. So, I, look, every every avenue, every stakeholder I look mm. at in this. Everybody's everybody's happy. I think. Yeah. The only thing is, you know, there's an extra playoff round of three games that uh, that we would suggest. Maybe the only thing would be that the players have to play an extra few games. But I mean, in the end of the day, you could have earned a buy if you had played uh, if you were better during the the regular season. And obviously, you have to adapt to these very difficult circumstances. This is um, this is unprecedented. Really, we yeah. we've never ever seen this. In sport, really, the when was the last time you can, other than lockouts, the World Wars canceled sports. Yeah. Um, there's, to my to my knowledge, no other uh, pandemic, nothing has resulted in a cancellation of sport, other than World War Two. So this is gonna be something remarkable to look at, uh, infamously in the future, just to like 50 years down the line, kind of looking at this season, right? This is this is historic. Yeah. Right. I don't see any issues with this format. Um, I think it's I think it would idea. work. Yeah. I think it would definitely, definitely work. Um, teams who made the playoffs get additional revenue because they get a little bit of extra games. Um, every t- a lot of teams who may not usually get playoff spots, their fans get to see at least one playoff game, um, and they get to see it at zero zero. That could be one of the bigger games because it's game one mm-hmm. at home. Even though you're lower seed, you have the first game at home just for for travel purposes. If it's a three game series, and if you're not in the playoffs. You've got a much better chance the lottery, and worst case, worst case if you're a lottery team, you're the seventh seed. You get the seventh pick in a very top-heavy draft. Yeah, you're gonna get a great player if you're in the top ten. If you're in the top, if you're in the top seven, you're getting you're getting a great player out of the draft. As long as you're not the New Jersey Devils when it comes to drafting, drafting your players. <laughs> as long as you're not the Devils, you're gonna get a good player in the yeah. top seven. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, anything else to add? No, yeah, I think it's I think it's a good solution. I'm just thinking we could discuss um, what do you think is gonna be the plan for next season? Uh, would we look at since if if this theoretic playoff started today, I I feel like we'd still I guess just be on pace for regular playoffs. Yeah. If theoretically, if coronavirus everything ended today and we started, which it won't. Exactly. It, it's only so it's it, gonna be pushed it's still, back. It's still on months. the rise. Um, 
Um, I, I think, well, the NBA has said their best case right now is probably mid-June. So I, I see a 48-game season next year, regular season. Yeah, I think um, a 48-game season makes sense for the NHL. They've done it before, uh, especially because you have a... Uh, uh, Gary Bettman is your commissioner. You're gonna get you're gonna get some lockouts. So, 48 game season makes sense for me next year, and just have the playoffs in the normal time. The NBA is thinking about completely changing their schedule, um, like permanently. So they start later, end later, uh, kind of becoming a fall league, which not a bad are, idea. I don't really like it. I, I like the balance of how sports are. I mean, it would it would be nice to kind of have more sports going to the summer because uh, if you're not a baseball hoping. fan, you at least get basketball in the summer as well and you get your hockey you get your nfl uh over the course of you know the, the winter season it, it's an avenue to pursue but i think that the nhl needs to stay as it is summer's yeah. off yeah um i think you can kind of figure that one out yourself why the nhl sport. should be winter and not a summer sport the nba I, I i can kind of see why they think that it would just be a really hard adjustment hmm. um and obviously you, well let's put at least set it up yeah, uh, obviously you have to have adaptive circumstances. I mean, the NBA only played 66 games in 2011-2012 because of the lockout. So maybe they could just shorten their season next year. I think it'd be tough to for any league to finish the regular season. But I really want to see playoffs happen. There's been some some rumors of a cancellation of the NBA. That which, would be very sad. It would make me really sad, especially as a LeBron fan. I really want to see him go for another championship, especially with such a great chance this season it would kind of sadden me for somebody of that stature at the end like not gonna be a lot of other opportunities mm. for him there there is his days are numbered for sure um do you think this change like if, if they went with this playoff format for the nhl do you think contenders would change like who would you have as your your contenders now uh because well, i'll start because i've been thinking about it boston were already one of my contenders mm. and their road to the final just got a lot easier because of the change if it were to happen. So I think Boston and Tampa Bay, you're probably looking at Boston, Tampa, and Washington as your conference final. I can see Boston being one of the favorites in this regard. Um, those are That's probably my favorite in the East. When it comes to the West, I think all of a sudden it kind of opens up for the Colorado Avalanche, like I was saying earlier uh, in the season. And I think the Golden Knights still is a three seed of the opportunity, but I like the Avalanche. They would be if, if that. If that's a, that's a two-three, and that's um, the conference semifinal. I, I like Colorado going up against Vegas with the with the home ice. Mm -hmm. what yes, do you think? Uh, I'd say on the West, I still really like Vegas. Um, obviously, their road is not as easy, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna give a lot more. I, I give a lot more credit to Colorado in this situation. I think that their chance of winning it would go up much higher, as we said. So I, I'd still be Colorado and Vegas in in the. Come mm -hmm. out of the West. Yeah. Uh, a lot more chances of Colorado than I early yeah, expected. Golden Knights, since the trade deadline when they made such good moves, have mm -hmm. been like on a tear. I could I could still see them going to the cup. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, in the East, I see Boston, Tampa. I got to throw Flyers in there. They're red hot right now. That's true. You can. Is there Would their momentum be seriously deteriorated, though, well, that's from this, true. this big hiatus? That's true. Um, They're red hot. Like, if, if the playoffs started, like. Right when the NHL finished, the Flyers are the real deal. Because right now, I believe they're they're second in their division. They are. They're second in the Metro. They could, they'd be a high seed in the East. They'd be a four seed looking at it right now. Yeah, that's a team they can maintain how hot they were. I couldn't settle on two names. It would have to be those three. The Bruins, Bruins Flyers, and Lightning coming out of the East. Just kind of playing the, the one, hot one teams. Of the three. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Um, it'd be in, it'll be interesting to see what the NHL does to adapt. Uh, I, I'm sure sports fans can agree with myself and Jack that we really hope playoffs do happen. We're okay if you cancel the season. We understand that, that the regular season, playoffs, we still want to happen. Yeah, you know, it's give us, happen. Give us that at the end of, uh, hopefully, you know, when humanity recovers from this and we can move on and we can start celebrating sport again that we've missed so dearly. But thank you to Jack for being on this episode. Um, let us know what you think about anything going on at the moment, whether it be in the comments on the YouTube video or on social media. Links in the description. We post every single day to Amateur Sports, so make sure you stay up to date with the content with the links in the description as well. We'll see you again tomorrow for another episode.